Morning! I thought we'd start from uh, where we finished last night because it's such a spectacular view. I mean, to be honest, it was really nice to actually wake up to this. This is gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous. Um, I sat last night with the binoculars and uh, I was watching them <coughs> checking the um, pods, nets or whatever you want to call them. I was watching them do that last night. That was quite interesting. But the views are just absolutely stunning. You couldn't ask for more than that to be fair and it was quiet last night it was really really good there was only us here there's a couple of fishermen down there setting up for the day um i don't know if you can see it but i think that's the, where they they make them pods or they bring them in and prepare them ready to go out but, uh, i think christine's worried that i'm going to get attacked by the dog we do he liked Dogs seem to like Christine, so uh, is what you seem to get. The only thing you seem to get in Turkey is you get a lot of this, the rubbish what people have uh, just thrown. Yeah. There's our friend, look. So uh, there's lots of dogs about. Dogs are seen as um, being everybody's, as opposed to, uh, although they are, we call them strays, I don't think they class them quite the same. Anyway, behind the van is this. And it's a lovely quiet road. I mean, I can tell you now, it's it's half past nine and barely a vehicle goes past. It's been beautiful. Anyway, we're heading off for the coast now. Okay, we're on one of the uh, main roads, which is running north. Um, <laughs> not much of a road to be fair, but it is what it is. Um, not, don't know what this town is, but we've put it on to show you a typical Turkish town. It's for more of a farming community than anything. So. Uh, Cars parked outside people's houses are tractors. <laughs> oh dear. Oh my god, do you want to see this? There was a, um, a German Shepherd on the right hand side and uh, he got a collar on and the spikes on the collar, well they weren't spikes, they were blades really? sticking out on his collar. Yeah, yeah, it must have been about three inches long. Did you see it? No. I don't I don't know whether that's on the video or not, but uh, I only really noticed it as I was going past the dog itself. Yeah, I've never ever seen anything like that before. Yeah, it looked yeah. a right weird collar. Yeah. They do like a speed bump in Turkey, don't they? Everywhere. It's when they don't mark them at all 
and you can't see them and you, you hit them at speed. They decorate the hoods of the tractors as well with like a fancy sort of wallpaper pattern. Mm. <laughs> uh, Lots of parks everywhere for the kids as well. Yeah, they do, they do seem to cater really well for the kids. I mean, there's a park, it's like a bit random, but there's a park up there, there's gym equipment on there, which seems to be the norm now, doesn't it? In a, yeah. a lot of places, you're getting it in the UK where there's gym equipment. It, there are signs you can tell the adults need to be using it, not children. And um, in the UK, <coughs> we know a lot of the kids are just feral, aren't they? So. <coughs> Today we're not going, it's more of a travel day today and then uh, down by the sea, I think. Uh, the weather's good. It's the weather's good, yeah. It seems a bit strange that they're just doing that bit of road there. <laughs> they've just had no corner bit in the town. Uh, never mind. <laughs> Maybe the town's saved up for a bit of road, I don't know. scenery that we've got is pretty amazing um, to be fair I think it's really really good I think some of the roads are a little bit second rate but you know I get they'll do all the roads that go to all the major towns and that kind of thing first um, we're heading up to the coast. I'm hoping the coast roads a lot better road than what we've got. It's not what we're saying. But we're, we're going, uh, we're kind of heading north. So and there's, there's not much, there's no fantastic road to take us uh, north. I think a lot of it is very similar to this. We've, we've got quite a few kilometres to do on it. We've got, I've got 380 kilometres left, it says, which would get us all the way along the uh, um, seafront to where we turn back inland again. So we'll, we'll find somewhere before then, but most of the driving is to get us up to uh, the coast. Well, I think about depending on where we go. I suppose if we did have parked up near, um, I can't remember what they call the name of the place, but at the point where we'd pretty much turn back inland again, we'd be doing the full 370 odd kilometres. But I think it's about 150, 160 kilometres, 50% of it to get us up to the coast, I think. And that is a, a, a guess. Well, the view 
views are, I must admit, are amazing. There's no wonder we have a few odd problems and that with the van for the amount of hammer it gets um, on a, the roads that we do when we're abroad in some of the you know countries that, um, that we've been to. And we're away for uh, kind of months at a time, not just uh, a week or two. So I suppose it affects us that way or affects the van that way so I don't think uh, a lot of the things in the van are not designed for permanent use and it's not a DIY built van either it, it's a, like a professionally built one I think when people generally when they DIY a lot of them they're made out of a more robust material or you make it to suit Well, the, the view, I mean, they are absolutely amazing. Really, really stunning. Stunning. Keep it going when you turn the corner, Dad can see a bit better. Keep it what? Keep it going until you see them. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can well. see it as well. Now, I don't know what the roads were like for you, Dad. I've no idea. They were probably worse than this, I would have thought. Um, however, the scenery must have been amazing. Now, whether you had a chance to kind of take that scenery in, you know, when you're driving as a, a, for work rather than for pleasure, I don't know. But I do hope it brings back some memories in that one like for you. I mean, you might not say, I remember that mountain or whatever, but... You know the the the, um, the views. The oh, oh, here we go. Don't don't. Hello. So we're uh, I like donkeys. Donkeys and cows no. now. So you... Not like that with cows. I like donkeys. No. Mm. Just wave to the uh, farmer. Who waved back. <laughs> they tend to guard the cows, don't they, here and then? Yeah, they're as well. like, um, <laughs> I would like to say shepherd, but that's for sheep, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know. He's a coward. <laughs> <laughs> but they do, don't they? stay with them. They don't just leave yeah. them like we do in fields. They stay yeah. with them. Well, I suppose if that's your only, I mean, that might be all he has, and then. Yeah. Um, well, half a dozen cows, you might not have anything else. Don't know. And a donkey, yeah. I must admit, I've never seen. I know we get the uh, the adverts on the telly back at home about donkeys and how poorly treated they are and they need your help. I must admit, I have not seen a poorly treated donkey. I think the worst we've seen was in uh, Egypt with the uh, horses yeah. um, the going up and down that uh, like a road where the pyramids were and they were riding them too fast downhill weren't they? Because the, 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 uh, the, 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 the shoes on a, on a horse uh, a, a steel they were just sliding so that weren't good. That weren't good. But they did look pretty healthy though didn't they? They the weren't camel. um yeah very they mean to camel. Yeah. Yeah the horses were clean and healthy. Yeah. It's just it was that quite ball. cool watching them coming to work in the morning, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, like loads of them all coming at the same time, weren't they? Yeah. And they had like a back gate to get them into the um, um, pyramid area. I think it's just the way, I mean, the way that I suppose it makes sense to the Egyptians on the way they do business, that's their way. I, I found that really difficult, um, Egypt. Well, we had it here, that as well. We've had it once here with a hard, hard sell. And we're, to be fair, never expected it. And we paid a little bit over the odds for um, 
a couple of things that we bought. Hey, but, donkey! And uh, there we go. Hey, There's a walking animal, look. It's like wobbling side to side like that. Oh, let's see if it's good. It's like he's got the firewood. I don't want to watch that. Trying to get up this donkey up. Hello. Hello. Yeah, there you go. He's got past look. There you go. <laughs> Can I get a picture of that one? Yeah. Well, I suppose when you're doing roads like this, you're getting to see more of the real yes. Turkey. Yes. As opposed to when you go into the cities, a lot of things are there and put there. Um, not all of them, specifically for the tourist. So I know the castles and that, things like that, aren't and palaces and stuff. But this is the real Turkey. These, these are just. Ooh, that's a bit weird. That's like we're entering something. It does. Well, hostel, it says. Uh, well, that was a bit unexpected. We'll, we'll, we'll soon find out if it's somebody's house. Sat nav takes us this way. Oh dear. Beautiful. We have actually come down onto a proper main road. Um, the only reason why I've put the video on now is because the truck in front is the first Iranian truck that we've seen. Uh, we know that, even though we've not tried to pass him yet, because of the um, lettering on the registration. Uh, Christy got a camera out to zoom in on it, so we'll, we'll pop past him now. So this is our first Iranian truck. Yeah, I am. Instead of uh, Tia. That was the only reason for putting that bit of video on. So that was the first Iranian truck that we've seen. I expect we'll see a few more when we start to get nearer the border, which is not for a while yet. How beautiful is that? Absolutely stunning. And on the opposite side, you've got these coloured hills. Beautiful. Okay, uh, this is where we're thinking we're going to stay for the night. Um, that's the Black Sea. Uh, I think just round there is a town called Olu or Olu, something like that. And uh, this is where we are. And this is where we're parked. Look at that. Hey? How's that? So, oh, I think we're barbecue on the beach, I think. That is stunning. We've just got ourselves up nicely on the grass on there. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Just sat here having a beer and I'll try and point out what we're this is the Black Sea. So over there is Russia, over there is Georgia, there is the Crimea, which was like part of Ukraine, and there just down there is what's Ukraine which um, I think the Russians took a lot of that territory. So in this, the Black Sea, is where there's been a lot of operations going on. Not near, obviously, this coast. The Black Sea is a massive area, but I think there's been a, a lot of fighting that's been going on in the sea here between 
the Ukraine and uh, Russia. But that's a long way, the, the sea is massive, so it's nowhere near here. But like I say, Russia, Georgia, Crimea, Ukraine. We're on to the We've got a couple of countries, so Ukraine over there, I'll move my camera around. And a bit further out, Moldova, um, Bulgaria, or Romania and Bulgaria. All of those countries um, are onto this. Although I think at the minute, Russia take up pretty much nearly all of the borderline. I think that's part of what they're in. We've got the Crimea, I think they're nearly round as far as Odessa, which is round there. Great film that, Odessa File. Yeah, old film, good film that. John Voight stars in that. Joffrey Smith. I know Christine doesn't like dogs, she keeps telling me, but she's certainly attracted to them because she's got a friend. She doesn't want a friend. And this dog keeps come up and he put his head on her um, corner of a chair I think this one belongs to somebody because he's got a thing but he's just sat there with Christine I don't know what she looked like about dogs all the dogs seem to love her but she hates them 